All right, time to work on the new video. What the fuck? I don't remember putting this here. What the? What the hell is going on here? Oh shit! What do you want? How the fuck did you get here? That's okay. Maybe. I don't trust you. Alright guys, sorry about that little freak out over there. Um, I think I have a poltergeist. But anyway, today's video, or I should say this month's video, is going to be about um, modifying with a kind of putty. Um, people who are more advanced Warframe uh, members may already be familiar with this kind of putty. Beginners like myself may not, but it does help to review what it can and can't do. This figure is not, as far as I know, um, is not in the War Warhammer universe, but it has been used um, with a buddy of mine, it was used for D&D. &D. Uh, I don't know if that is or is not the case, but he does offer an interesting, um, interesting opportunity to show you the the putty that I'm about to to. Uh, exp so as I was saying, um, the putty has several uses. Um, you don't need a lot. From what I've, I understand, but this is what it looks like. Uh, green on one side, blue on the other. I guess it's kind of like steel putty. One mixes with the other to make a hardener of some kind. Um, but that's that's beyond me. This was just given to me as a gift. So, basically what I'm going to be doing is the little skull you see laying on the ground next to the figure is going to become the figure's new face as well as the figure's um, centerpiece, more or less. He does have, let's see if I can, still getting used to this. Yep, there we go. He does have shoulder pauldrons. He does have what used to be a sword. He even has um, a nice little skull on the side here, right up in there, and a nice long flowing cape if I had more putty, I would probably take into consideration about how much sculpting I'm going to need to do to fix this guy up into um, what I want. But for right now, it's just this is just going to be a quick little video, at least as quick as I can make it, on um, how to how to use the putty, how to get it on there, and then I'm going to make another video where we'll get more into the heavy sculpting or um, more into what all you can do with this putty, but for right now it's just basic basic stuff I think. Don't know. You you guys are along for the roller coaster just like I am. Alright, so I'm gonna just stretch off a piece. And I'm just gonna fold it and see what I can get here. Alright, so I misspoke earlier. It is actually yellow and blue on one side and it mushes together to make the green. The um, problem that I'm having with it is, and I don't know if this is relevant for um, the putty as a whole or if it's just me, but mine seems to be a bit tougher than I expect this kind of activating putty to, to have. Um, Maybe that's just how this kind of putty is, or maybe it's just because mine's a couple years old. I was warned about that when I received it. But basically, what you're going to do with the um, putty is you take a, about as much as you think you're going to need, and I think I grabbed a little bit too much, but you just grab very small spots of it, 
you mush it onto one end of the piece that you're going to use. Let's see if I can try and keep it like that. And then um, just press nice and firm into the other end that you're going to use. And I think what I'm going to wind up doing before that green hardens up is um, kind of cover up that head of his. Make it look more like a, a headdress piece. So it looks like this is not going to be as short a video as I thought it was. Then again, usually when I say short video, they never are. So I'm going to try and thin this out a little. really want to try and save that skull as much as I can he's getting there he's, he's looking good I'm actually starting to get a lot more excited about this than I intended. Um, this is the piece to the sword that I originally told you about. The metal, uh, or I should say the alloy that this is made from on the blade is rather bendable. I would say the same goes for the, um, the entirety of the model, but I wouldn't say quite that much. So I'm just going to be very grooved with it. I'm just going to make grooves. I'm not very good with actual sculpting sculpting, so I'm just going to see what I can get. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a nice deep groove for, um, say, feathers. Nice deep groove for feathers. Let's see if I can get a little bit of, of um, plumage look for this guy. It's looking good. There we go. And now I'll just kind of sculpt out the, the feathers, I guess. So. Alright, so I'm back from all of that molding and I kind of got carried away with it. Um, I, th I think he's turning out pretty good looking though. Yeah, let me get. Ta da, better lighting. Um, yeah, I, I kind of got carried away with it, got crazy. Um, He's not without his flaws, but uh, I'm, I'm liking him. Wait for it. There it goes. Um, the putty, if you know how to stretch it, which I probably will should uh, explain real quick. Um, basically, when you do the putty, 
if you can get it nice and flat, kind of like you would with um, Play-Doh or regular old putty. Get it nice and flat, stretch it out nice and thin, um, then just tear it. And this kind of breaks right there, you can, if you know what you're doing, and this is just for like an example, you can take a break like that. And assuming this bottom piece isn't in the picture, you've got yourself a nice little ethereal flame going on there. And that ethereal flame um, idea kind of popped into my head when I was working with the guy. And I was like, you know what? I was going to go for a witch doctor, but then I, but then I thought of um, ethereal skull demon monster thing. And before this sets any further... Um, I would like to say that there is a set time on these, but I don't know how long it takes for these things to set, so just kind of working it while it's still soft. I'm pretty sure there's a cure time and everything that you have to go, have to deal with. Uh, I'll see if I can look that up. But, uh, yeah, you just, um, for the top piece here that layer that I put on um, I was going to go for kind of a um, headdress look but then I just started messing around with it sorry the uh, camera cut out on me like I was saying I just started messing around with the headdress until um, the basic pattern started emerging from the molded putty things like the um, stretch of the flame and all that and I actually had to wait a while for mine to charge, my, my camera to charge, so I noticed that while everything was charging, he no longer looks, or his flames no longer look as ethereal as they used to, which might have something to do with the putty itself, it might have something to do with the heat in the house, the environment, uh, there's, there's several things, but it, it's definitely shrunk in on itself um, which I guess is kind of the point it's meant to to bond and to make compact molds I get I don't know if anyone's ever used it to make very elastic modifications to to a, um, a piece but uh, hey uh, trial and error so that's about it for this one um, like I said I tried to keep it short it's probably not going to be short, but I did. I'm going to do what I, I'm going to do what I can to keep it short and still give you guys something decent. Um, be on the lookout for any surprise videos because lately I've been getting the creative bug and I've just haven't forgotten. I have forgotten to take the the camera around with me when I get it. So be on the lookout for those. There'll be like little surprises throughout the month if I can get a hold of them before I finish the project. Other than that, please like, subscribe, share. All that nice, neat little stuff that is going to help me out with um, getting myself off the ground. And don't you worry about this guy. You'll see him again soon. It's probably going to be after I figure out what all is wrong with the putty to get it to stay like it was in the earlier clips of this video. And then I'm going to get them all painted up. And once he, and that's probably the next video I'm going to have for him is him getting all painted up and looking like a nice little giant skull demon that he is so we're gonna go ahead and take care of that but anyway share like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time